right. Um, thank you for uh, showing up for another week of drawing fun madness with me. Um, I need a different name for this show. Um, last week we discussed what we're going to do this week, or two weeks ago we discussed what we're going to do this week, and um, it is going to um, be charcoal. Um, because charcoal is a relative fast medium, um, we're going to go ahead and do two different things uh, tonight. We're going to uh, do a face in charcoal, um, kind of like a three quarter portrait, and we're going to do a, uh, a set of orchids. Um, we're going to start out doing the orchids first, and then the face later. Um, for this we're going to need some charcoal. Um, any charcoal that you have will do. Um, I have a little bit of charcoal, a little bit of much, and a little bit of a million and one pieces. Um, so, um, what we're going to be using is, you know, if your charcoal comes in pencils, that'll work too. Um, it really doesn't matter if it's a charcoal stick, or if it's just charcoal, or whatever. Um, I have different softnesses, I have different hardnesses here. Um, it really doesn't matter. What I would suggest is uh, get yourself a little cloth chamois uh, to go with it to spread it out if you want to. Um, you can use your fingers, you can do whatever. Um, one of the few things that I tend to do when I work with charcoal is get a cloth with me. That's a little bit of damp. Um, so it's, it's, you know, you can clean your fingers with it. Um, just to go real quick through what it is, um, I got a set of colored charcoal right here. Um, this is my portrait set, as you can see by the colors. Uh, this is my cloth chamois. It is like completely covered. It's an old piece of suede that I got, and uh, as you can see, it's got already a million, you know, of charcoal on it. Um, this is the set I got. Um, it's alright, you know, as far as sets go. Um, it's got a little bit of everything in it. It's the black and white set. Um, let's see, they're actually pastels from Alpha Color. But, you know, pastels and charcoal are very closely related to each other. Um, this is the vine charcoal that a lot of artists will know and recognize. Um, it's very soft and it's very brittle. Um, a lot of people use that to, um, to paintings with. Uh, I've got some more pure wine uh, char uh, charcoal there. I got uh, an old um, charcoal stick here. Um, let's see. This is the peel and sketch charcoal from uh, from a general pencil company. Uh, I also have a Dewent Graphics. Uh, this is just a 9B, so it gets really close to uh, to charcoal. Um, there is no best. Uh, when it comes to charcoal, it depends on what you want. Um, just like with pencils, there is a, a gradation in hardness. Um, the harder your, your charcoal is, the better it works um, for straight lines and stuff like that. You want a very smooth, soft kind of drawing, you use the softer kind. Uh, I'm going to use the hard kind because that's more readily available and it's easier to use than the soft uh, willow one. So, uh, the rest is just old bits of uh, uh, an old uh, eraser pen and uh, my sharpener that doesn't work anymore because I break my sharpeners like mad. Um, just little bits here that uh, I am going to use this kind. Um, this is a 6B charcoal, which is relatively hard where so charcoal goes. Um, I like the 6B because it, it gives me enough... Uh, hardness to it that I can um, I can still draw with it compared to the soft ones that just smudge a lot. So I'm going to be using that and uh, to smudge your charcoal we're going to need, or what you can use, 
just a little blending stone thingies. Um, I found a, uh, a good thing, it's these really cheap um, sponge brushes. I like those, they work really well, I'm going to show you how to use those, because that's just, for me, it's, uh, it's comes close to, to painting um, something up. Something I like. Um, on my blog, uh, you can get the free templates for tonight. Um, let me show you. We got the uh, we've got the um, sorry the orchid, and we've got the girl. And basically, what I did is I went all around and and showed you where to color them in. Mostly, it's going to be black. The trick with the charcoal. When you're working charcoal, is to use a lot of black and white. Um, it works the best. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna. Uh, what I'm gonna do is. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna start. If I'm out of the picture, please let me know. Um, I can move the camera just a little more. I have to move it up and down. And what I'm going to do is the the, uh, the flowers are going to be roughly white with, with gray and stuff like that. So I don't want to put too much graphite on there as it is. Uh, the background is going to be completely black. So there's two things that you can do when it comes to charcoal. You can do the background completely black and watch out you don't smudge inward where you don't want it or you can work from the light out the other way around. Seeing that my background is going to be black, I am going to actually start making the background completely black. That way I can pick up my, um, my, um, my black from the side. And just like everything else, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and Go around the edges. And uh, basically just color it in. Um, Put a drop shadow in with my uh, with my charcoal. Uh, I'm gonna clean my hands. I like using Windex for that because it's got a decreaser in it. So I just you know spray it on my hands and then use a uh, a cloth to wipe it off. I'm gonna use a blending stump. What I can do is you can take another piece of paper that you got. Clean it up with. That's kind of what I what I used that for. Um, the blending stump is falling apart. All right. Push it down a little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over. I'm going to pick up. 
pick up some of my graphite and if you look at it like look how much it picked up okay so I'm going to use that um, uh, first one I'm going to grab myself on the razor so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around my lights with your charcoal, trust me. And I'm going to use the point to smooth things out by dabbing it, moving it around. Seeing where my darker parts are, I can still pick up some of the, the charcoal just by slowly tapping it on the on the background. I don't want too much I don't want to make it too dark. And it's easier to add charcoal than it is to take off, trust me. Because it's got a very fine point to it, I can get into very uh, very small corners. If you only use one part, one corner of your of your brush to pick up charcoal, you can turn that corner around to then actually like make the little gray uh, gradations in it. Uh, once in a while, I'll just take my little cloth that I seem to lost, so I use my pen. My Queen's Paper Place, Alice.
this pump again and load it up, but she's going over the charcoal in the background. Let's see how much I picked up. I, um, I don't want to be going and, and putting charcoal on this again. You like seriously want to like not put charcoal on your flowers itself. Okay, I'm gonna use my blending stump with the charcoal that I've been picking up. I'm adding darker highlights to it. Hope you guys can see that I'm not in the like I'm not in the, the way or something. Blending stump is better at picking up graphite, but it's harder to distribute it. I keep calling it graphite, but it's actually charcoal. But you get the idea. Use any darker that you want, 6B, 12B, whatever you want. And we're going to get it really stupidly sharp. Okay. And with this, I am going to go over it. And I am actually going to hit the darkest parts where I want. This is going to get me the, the ha uh, most of the details that I want and I'm going to just use it very lightly I'm barely touching this boiled broth would say it's like a whisper on the on your paper
back in and blend it again because the eraser will actually have very hard lines. So put my do my 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 anti slip thing down right there and I'm gonna go ahead and and bring back my, my white. Dabbing will actually make a mobile effect which makes it looks like there's like thingies on it. There we go. Take that ozone layer. Yes, um, if you look at the the charcoal or the template that I gave you. Uh, fill in all the little uh, island that I drew out, and you'll be roughly set. Uh, you want to work big with charcoal. You don't want to. This is actually rather small to work with charcoal. Um, it'll work though.